Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you all the different keyboard combinations you can use to delete text on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So I'm often asked about using your keyboard to delete characters while editing text. One of the most frequently asked questions is how to forward delete. In other words, delete the character in front of the cursor rather than the one behind it. On Windows computers there is a special key for that. But most Macs don't have that special key. I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. But I'm also going to show you a whole bunch of other keyboard commands you can use to delete text in various ways. So let's start off with the basic one using just the Delete key that's on all Mac keyboards. You'll find it near the upper right and you simply press the Delete key and it deletes the character before the blinking text cursor. Now one thing to know about this is you can modify it with the Option key. Say you have a lot of text to delete. Deleting it one at a time, even holding the Delete key down and letting it repeat will take a while. So instead use the Option key with Delete. The first time you use it it will delete all of the characters to the left of the blinking cursor in that word. And then every time you use it after that it deletes the word before. So if you are done typing and want to delete the last few words instead of pressing Delete a whole bunch of times like that just use Option Delete and you can quickly delete word by word. Now you can also use the Command key to modify Delete. If you do that it deletes all of the characters on that line before the blinking text cursor. So here I can easily delete all the way back to the beginning of that line with Command Delete. Now how about Forward Delete? Well a lot of Mac keyboards actually have a Forward Delete button. If you have a Mac Extended Keyboard, that's one that has a numeric keypad on the right, you're going to find a second Delete key just to the right of the first Delete key. It's grouped there with the Home and Page Up and Page Down buttons. And simply using that key will delete the character after the blinking text cursor and you can continue to delete with it. But what if you don't have that key on your keyboard? For instance if you have a MacBook you're going to have the smaller keyboard and it's not going to have the numeric keypad or the page up, page down, home and end buttons and it won't have that forward delete key. Well you can get that same functionality if you look for the FN or globe key on your keyboard. Newer Macs have both the characters FN and the globe on it. Older Macs will have just FN on this key. But it works the same way. Hold the FN key down and then press Delete and you'll get the same action as using the Forward Delete button on an extended keyboard. Now you can combine this with the Option key just like you can the Delete key. So I can use FN Delete but also with Option and it will delete everything in the word after the blinking text cursor. And then it will continue to delete word by word every time I tap Delete while holding FN and Option. Now there's another way to delete and forward delete on any Mac keyboard. And that's using Control D and Control H. That's the Control key not the Command key. Control H acts like the regular Delete key deleting the character before. Control D acts like a forward Delete key deleting the characters after the cursor. Now remember how I showed you you can use Command Delete to delete everything before the cursor but only on that line. Well it would be nice to also have a command to delete everything on the same line after the blinking text cursor. And in fact Control K will sort of do that. But it actually deletes all the characters to the right of the blinking text cursor in that paragraph. So if I use it here you could see it basically clears out all the characters to the end of the paragraph. So if I had typed a bunch of things and I don't want to keep all of this I could simply put the cursor there and do Control K and you can see how it gets rid of everything to the right. Now you can also do a lot using two keyboard commands. The first to select and the second to delete. For instance I can select anything by simply using the left and right arrow keys to position the blinking text cursor and then hold Shift down. And now Shift will move the cursor but select while it's doing it. So I can use left and right to select what I want and then simply hit the Delete key and it deletes everything that's selected. So when you have a selection Delete works a little differently. Not deleting the character before the cursor but deleting the selection. And in fact Forward Delete will work the same way. It does exactly the same thing in that situation. As well as Control D and Control H. So moving with the arrow keys will do a similar thing as Delete will do with the Option key. Hold Option and now you're moving by Word. 
Now holding Shift will actually select by word. So Shift Option and then left or right arrow keys will select by word. Once you have a selection, once again you can use any of those delete combinations to delete what's selected. So this does allow you to delete to the beginning of the paragraph. I'm going to select in the second paragraph here so you can see it in action. If I use Shift Up Arrow it selects everything from that position in the line to the same position above it. And then Shift Down Arrow will do the same. I could also use Shift Command Left to get everything to the left side of the cursor on a line. Shift Command Right to get everything to the right side. And then of course Delete. But what I really want is to delete everything from the blinking cursor to the beginning of the paragraph. To do that hold Shift and Option and then Up Arrow. That selects everything to the beginning of the paragraph. And then you could use Delete right afterwards to delete everything to the beginning of the paragraph. So that's kind of the inverse of using Control K which will delete everything in that paragraph after the cursor. And of course you could also use Shift Option and then Down Arrow to select everything to the end of the paragraph and then use Delete which also deletes the end of the paragraph mark. Which brings up another way to delete. You can delete and replace at the same time by simply typing. So for instance if I were to select this letter here and say I want to delete it and replace it with a new letter like the letter T I could just type T. It deletes the selection and replaces it with what I typed. So in this situation where I do Shift Option Down you can see it selects the end of the paragraph there. Instead of deleting with the Delete key and ending up with that mess I can delete by hitting Return which deletes all the selected text but replaces it with a return. Oh, by the way another way to select everything from the cursor to the beginning is Shift Control A. And you can use Shift Control E to select everything to the end. Notice how that doesn't include the paragraph there. So I could actually hit Delete and you could see it preserves the paragraph change without adding an extra line or anything. Another way to delete is using Command X. So if I select some text like this and I use Command X it seems to delete it. What it's actually doing is it's Edit and then Cut. So it's deleting the text but also adding it to the clipboard. So I can Command X and then go somewhere else and Command V to paste. But I don't have to paste. I can just use Command X as a way to delete. Keep in mind though if you have something saved in the clipboard, something else you've copied, Command X will replace it with whatever was removed. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.